Welcome back. If you wanted to know about the latest trends in cars, including the best new models and other highlights, who better to give you the insider's perspective than someone who spends more time at auto shows than probably anyone else in the country? Here's James Bell with the Inside Scoop. 2014 has been a fantastic year. I think there's been so much pent-up demand, people getting their, their household finances in order, and then they come back in the marketplace and they're overwhelmed with what they find. Great fuel efficiency in vehicles you wouldn't expect, like pickup trucks and SUVs, great uh, connectivity and technology. Technology, Wi-Fi uh, coming out of all GM cars by the end of this year. It really is a, an exciting time to be back in the marketplace, and uh, and I think that's why we're seeing near record-breaking sales. This year's auto show is already shaping up to be one of the classics. Uh, we've had seen some very interesting vehicles. You know, the, the one over my shoulder here, the Colorado, was actually introduced this time last year, but it's just now starting to come into showrooms. Now, just so you know, 60-day supply in the industry is considered healthy, considered correct. We're running about nine-day supply on this vehicle, so it's it's uh, unhealthy in a most positive and fantastic way. Fuel efficiency is found in lots of different places. The new Audi Q7, a seven passenger SUV, looks great, futuristic, and it's a plug-in diesel. So great torque, great efficiency, uh, and you can roll, roll around as a golf cart most of the time. And then the other one I really like is this one here. This is the Bio Cascada, and I think this is a vehicle that sets you up for really being surprised by the Buick brand. It looks like something from Germany or something. When you see one in your neighborhood, you're gonna be shocked, then you're gonna close, you're gonna see it's a Buick, all about changing the perception of this brand. So many people ask me uh, when it comes to electric cars and where the future of that is, with fuel prices so low, what's, what's going on with them? Are they going away? Heck no, if anything, we're only gonna accelerate that pace because you now have emissions and fuel efficiency standards around the globe that only electrification will help us meet. So Chevrolet's doing their part. We've introduced a new version of the Volt. You know, uh, current Volt owners are amongst the most passionate and engaged and excited uh, and happy in the entire marketplace. J.D. Power has shown that in several of their studies. But they're also very uh, engaged and telling us things they didn't like about the car. And that's what we've addressed with the new Volt. It's now a five passenger car instead of four, has a more uh, user friendly and high tech interior. And it does about 50 miles of electric range instead of 38. So it's really gonna cover most people's commutes. The other car we've shown here for the first time is the Bolt, and that's Bolt with a B. This is a five passenger, five door, uh, little crossover type vehicle, but it's all electric. And when you uh, hear about what Tesla's been saying lately, they're trying to beat everybody in the market with an affordable all electric vehicle with 200 miles of range. Guess what? Chevrolet just knocked on the door and knocked it down. You know, the, the new Stingray is a fantastic vehicle. It's really shaken up the sports car market, really put brands like uh, Porsche on notice. Well, now we've upped the game with the Z06, and I was lucky enough to spend some time driving the vehicle in Las Vegas just last week. Listen to these numbers, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. That's less time than it took me to say that sentence. Uh, in braking, obviously you've got that kind of acceleration, you've got to have great braking. It will go from 60 to zero in less than 100 feet, which is supercar territory, Lamborghini, Ferrari kind of space. And get this from 25 to zero, it'll stop faster than the actual length of the car. And again, we're up in uh, mega car territory here, the most expensive exotics from Italy, and we're doing it for a quarter of the price.